Hello and welcome back, and that is right, we want to talk, of course, about Synology. Weirdly talkative for a brand that I would argue is one of the more secretive players in the world of servers and data storage. They've kind of come out guns blazing in advance of their Synology Solutions event happening in Taipei uh, on the 4th of June uh, 2024. And given that they've been relatively quiet, I think it's nice that we're able to sort of pour through some of the solutions they're going to be talking about at this event. And this video, nice and simple, is going going through some of the stuff in that video and hopefully when I'm over in Taipei and recording this on the day that I fly out we're going to sort of get hands on with some of this and the first thing that became abundantly clear with this early kind of teaser video they put out was this whole idea of a new data protection appliance again as you can see there on screen the active protect uh, platform there this is going to be a kind of new endeavor for them and hopefully we're going to get it hands on with this but this seems to be uh, maybe a divergence from what we're seeing of their existing platforms they're even showing off some dedicated rack mount solutions there we can see later on in this video and they're talking about kind of multi-site overview it's going to be interesting to see how that materializes in reality is this a single app within dsm or a dedicated platform i'm erring towards the latter for multiple reasons um but i would say this whole idea of a dedicated backup appliance within synology's profile that's you know basically your um, your active backup your hyper backup and all of other backup applications unified into a single portal presumably for enterprise going by everything we can see in this video I think there will be an interested party in something like that, but it's going to be to what scale it's going to be targeted towards. Obviously, we'll learn more later next week, but still, nonetheless, I'm going to be interested to see because this is the loudest we've seen them talk about it. And as you can see here from this slide happening here on screen, that is a lot of SAAS and PAAS um, platforms there that are being listed uh, in unity with this that they're going to be supporting again this isn't new we've seen them do this with active backup and we've seen them with active backup workspace uh, and uh, of obviously uh, uh, google workspace 3 and 365 but still we're seeing lots of those buzzwords we're seeing you know right once read mini there we're seeing that um uh, uh, unified workload protection being highlighted throughout the course of the video so clearly once again there is that enterprise scope, which does make me worry that there isn't going to be anything for the middle to the lower tiers at this event, given that Synology are clearly front-loading uh, the presentation of this event with the enterprise stuff very early doors. Now, this was followed up by this new scaled-out storage platform. We already saw that large 60-bay system, and this seems to be a further evolution. We're seeing uh, this is going to go up to a 96-node build um it's kind of scale out storage there so imagine up to 96 storage device when we even got that part number there a gs6200 and again a new uh product id and a new SKU from them rolling out that seems to be dedicated to this new scale out series the gs series and it's stating that each of those clusters so that's cluster of those gs series devices can scale up to 20 petabytes there now again we are talking large scale drives almost certainly synology's own um, hard drive or uh, sorry a sata or sas drives there but again they're clearly aiming for the skies and it, this goes even further when we look at these integrations with the scale out collaboration suite at slide here we can see now why is that we already talked about this last year about synology dabbling with ai we saw it at their solutions expo in taipei in 2013 and now we're seeing it looks like a more formative application of that within their uh, collaboration suite of applications uh, we can see uh, synology office on there we saw mail and indeed chat the new gen ai integration there again your chat gd Peace, your, uh, your Google Gemini, your stuff like that. And now we're hopefully going to be seeing how this is visualized, not just simple question answers. I want to see how it's going to be implemented into the Synology platform, how um, you're going to be able to turn it off, turn it on, to what extent it can be used, and of course, privacy and the data concerns of the data that you own being managed. Obviously, this is going to require an internet connection, so it's going to be interesting to see how that's going to be played out in its eventual implementation into these DSM applications. And next, surveillance. Synology have always had a very confident pl platform there with their surveillance solutions in NAS. And then, of course, last year we saw them rolling out two and then eventually three different cameras. And this is something a lot of us already predicted. Um, Synology moving towards um, their surveillance platform 
being sans NAS in the middle there. As we can see, that little logo there on the side of those cameras, that is the C2 surveillance logo. And as we can see, and it's further emphasized more in this uh, in these slides, the idea of these cameras no longer requiring the Synology NAS in the middle. Direct um, recording there to the Synology C2 platform there. So uh, how that's going to play out, whether it is we're playing with a VM, whether it is that we're playing with um, just direct footage like third-party cameras we've seen out there, have to be wait to be seen. But again, remember, it's going to be Synology encrypted, you know, beginning and end. And they've already established a lot of this workflow with C2 surveillance as it is. Um, how much of this, it looks like it's going to be integrating other software as a service platforms um, into it. And taking advantage of those, of those edge AI services that a lot of their newer cameras have and how much of that will transfer over to the cloud side in theory all of it but it will be interesting to see if on the server side you are dealing with a deep video analysis system when you do enter into surveillance remote recordings without a NAS in the middle all in all it looks like they are once again doubling down on enterprise level um, items within their portfolio so it's going to be interesting to see one when we're at the event next week is there going to be more to this are they going to be scaling out their storage are we going to see some disk stations it's been a while right well hopefully uh, later this week we will be covering more and more that's happening at this event here on the channel and we'll learn more about all of the items in today's video and hopefully fingers crossed some other stuff added there on top we've already heard a little few things but we're saving those for the videos next week but if you've got any predictions something you're hoping to see then do let me know in the comments below and uh, what we'll do is we'll do a lovely little guessing game together personally it looks like Synology are really really hitting the enterprise button hard which I know is going to be coming quite disappointing to a lot of USMB prosumer and less um, you know the entry level tiers there but maybe we'll see a little bit more B station fingers crossed we see more innovation on DSM maybe even a DSM 8 preview I would love that but whether they're going to do that, that feels like something they would have top-loaded this video with, but we'll have to wait and see. Again, if you've got any uh, predictions you want to make, comments below. And other than that, I will see you next week. And there's a link in the description, by the way, to our mega thread of Synology 2024, which we update with all of the news as we hear it, and we add it to that. So between now and next week, we'll update that with anything else we hear along the way. But apart from that, I'll see you next week.